Think of a computer. The state of a computer is described by the state of a bunch of bits, zeros and ones. Okay? To describe the state of a register inside a computer or a memory, it's just described by a series of zeros and ones. A set of binary digits, if there are n bits, then there are n binary digits in the description of the state of the computer or the state of the memory of the computer. So it takes n binary digits to describe the state of n bits. What about a quantum register, a register made out of quantum mechanical qubits? How complicated is it? Well, each one of these states of the classical computer is itself a possible state of a quantum computer, but the most general state of a quantum computer is a superposition of these. Is a superposition, a quantum mechanical superposition, and it requires two to the n it requires two to the n complex coefficients here to describe that quantum mechanical state. So, whereas this took n binary digits to describe the corresponding quantum mechanical state requires two to the nth complex coefficients. Here the number of distinct quant uh, classical states was two to the n. Here the number of corresponding quantum states is e to the two to the n. So the, the this quantum states are vastly richer in their potential for complexity than the corresponding classical things. How do we describe? Is complexity just a, uh, you know, what, what is complexity? Complexity can mean all sorts of things to all kinds of people. Um, my, uh, my relationship with my mother-in-law is complex. Uh, all sorts of things it can mean. But by complexity, we mean something very, very definite. It's called computational complexity, computational quantum complexity. Again, we imagine a quantum computer it's running, uh, time goes horizontally now. You put an input into the quantum computer, and then the qubits interact with each other. These little red circles here are called gates, logical gates. And the computer processes the initial state. The initial state could be a bunch of zeros. That's a simple state. It processes them and spits out a quantum state of some more complex character. The definition of complexity is the minimum number of gates that it takes, the, the complexity of psi. Starting with something simple and easy to describe, how many gates does it take, the minimum number, to get you to the state of interest? That minimum number is called the quantum computational complexity of psi. It's a property of the state of the system. How complex is it? How hard is it to make? Okay, so it's the minimum number of gates. Now, the maximum entropy of a system of n bits, or even n qubits, is n. The maximal complexity is 2 to the n. So complexity is a kind of thing which can grow to a vastly bigger size than entropy, and that's why it continues to grow for very, very long periods of time after a system has come to thermal equilibrium. Uh, this is something computer scientists, and in particular quantum computer scientists, did know. Mostly physicists didn't know it. All right, so, the hypothesis, and this hypothesis fits, it fits extremely well, that the growing wormhole, that the size of the wormhole in here, the volume of it, is described quantum mechanically, is described quantum mechanically in terms of the complexity of the state of the system. The relationship is that the volume of the wormhole divided by Newton's constant times a certain length scale which has to do with anti de Sitter spaces and so forth is equal to the complexity. And this has been a fairly well-tested hypothesis. And it's surprising. Again, it's surprising because it's another link between quantum information on the one hand, something purely quantum mechanical, and something purely relativistic, or general relativity, the space behind the horizon. Okay, so we have these two aspects. On the one hand, the growth of the volume of the wormhole 
On the other hand, the growth of complexity in a quantum mechanical system as it evolves, again, a tight-knit close connection between quantum mechanics and gravity, which five years ago or six years ago was totally unexpected.